Okay, hello guys. Uh, today I will be introducing you to Easy Road Generator version 1.4. Okay, uh, it's uh, with an immense pleasure that I'm doing this because uh, there are some features or fixing that was uh, requested a while ago for the users, but then I'm doing so many other things that I wouldn't, I wasn't being able to fix them. Uh, on time maybe but now I will be showing you uh, what we could achieve in the meantime and show you the difference between version 3 and version 4 1.3 or 1.4 okay first of all I'm using blender 3.5 here so you guys can see that this is a uh, this is a blender version which is uh, pretty much uh, it's changed the way you see on the modifiers and I like it the most because back in the days all those options which should be switching uh, to on and off was basically uh, integer numbers so one or zero you have to be like sliding one sliding to zero to change that now it's just a matter of clicking to switch them that's more polished and it's easier to do okay so as you can see this is version 1.3 uh, and this is version 1.4 okay you notice you have been noticed that on your properties on your modifier tab you can see that you have lots of more options here and I'm going to all of with those options with you uh, all together to see what you get new out of the easy road version 1.1.4 okay first of all in this version the previous version let's bring this here the previous version you just have uh, those options right so you could turn it a curb okay a planter only so you could grab these uh, turn that into a planter okay uh, but you don't have that much options uh, different options for for example changing the way the road looks it is what it is okay uh, so you see this is something I think that will work for most of the scenes like let me bring this here it's pretty cool right it's 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 pretty awesome I like the way the roads look like here so it's, it works well okay but <laughs> but let's say I'm sorry let's say that you want to change the way the corner looks like uh, you can't do that here okay so those are basically the options that you have and also if you try for example to convert your mesh here uh, to a mesh you will be messing around with your scene right why because there is a terrain in your scene which is basically it depends on this guy to be set it up so you basically will screw up the whole thing and that's probably what lots of guys were uh, going into trying to convert and edit their meshes okay let's try to bring it back by ctrl z and, s and hope that blender will not break okay let's bring this here all right so you see it it is it is working as it is but uh, you know it, there, are, there are few limitations that you you are running out and I was trying to address all of this in the new version okay so in this new version of the ro easy road generator first we have inverted sidewalks we have uh, let me bring this here we have inverted sidewalks I changed the order here as well but we have uh, sidewalks only I changed the name to only sidewalks only curb only planter because it's easier to read okay so now everything is only 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 okay 
you have the curb only you have the planter only and you have the planter fixing which is uh, Z fixing which is here okay sidewalk fixing sidewalk fixing here okay divisions divisions uh, lamp posts on and off the same thing here lights on and off volumetrics project terrain okay all the same okay but let's go with what you have new okay in the new uh, in the new in this version of this road so you have not just only sidewalks only curbs only planters but you have the option of only roads as well okay only roads we remove the entire sidewalk and give you this uh, little complement here okay this comp this complement is uh, something that helps you to kind of blend in your terrain okay and that's one option okay only roads you have the option of turning it only lamp posts okay when you turn in lamp posts now you have just those guys and because maybe just you just want them for some reason okay now you have this option the divisions are here as before and the lamp posts on and off the same thing as before lights on and off volumetric volumetric is just visible when you have the lights on and off okay you have your project terrain we go there uh, later and you have your complement on and off okay if you turn it on so you have a complement here from your sidewalk okay this doesn't affect only roads because most of the time in the roads you are okay with your complement and you can remove them uh, later on if you want I will show you how to do that okay but I think one of the most requested changes was the uh, if there was a way of changing the corners for all of the street and now I have added these two options corner sample and corner radius and as you change it here you see that you are playing around with uh, the radius of your corner and also you can define the jagged of your options okay of your edges and this uh, absolutely doesn't affect the division right let's just turn it on the divisions and you the divisions will be already okay all right so now you have this option let's bring this back okay you have more control over your groove the same goes here if you have this guy as a sidewalk only let, let's us, uh, remove these guys here if you have a sidewalk only you can uh, do the same okay you can change the way it looks corner and how jagged is that all right so then we have uh, the options here that we didn't have before of setting up the amount of lamp posts okay if you go higher you probably start to lose in some lamp posts or if you go down let's put 20 you will start to see the increasing the amount of lamp posts on your scene okay the you are reducing the distance between them right so that's more control that you didn't have that before uh, all the rest it has to do with uh, projection okay the way that you project on your terrain and for showing that showing you that I will be showing you how it was before and you will understand how everything affects okay if we go here let's bring this guy here and bring this guy here 
If we turn it to project on, so it, it is basically taking what, let, let me bring this here to show you better. It is basically taking what you have here on your uh, terrain assets and creating a generated terrain for you, okay? And if you want to change the play around with this complement here, you have to go to your terrain. And if you want to fix your terrain, you have to go to your terrain inside the collection terrain generator and playing around with the settings here and turn it on and off the complement and even playing around with the Z axis of your complement, okay? But that's not inside the road. Inside the road, you don't have none of those options, okay? And your Easy Road Generator has all this collection, had all this collection before. Now your Easy Road Generator is much simpler, okay? So you just have e Easy Road Generator main and Easy Road Generator components. You don't need to, you don't need even to touch on this guy. You have to hide this guy right away because it's not necessary for you to do anything with these guys at all, okay? These guys here. Let me show you. Uh, you just, it's much more simplified. So you just have easy road generator man and easy comp component, easy components, okay? And let's turn it on a projection. Okay, now we have our projection, okay? It's the same as before but it doesn't turn it on automatically the complement. However, you have your options to add your complement just here, okay? Just as it is, and you don't need to go to any other collection to change with the fixing and the adaptation. You can go here and fix the projection here, okay? Trying to fix issues on your projection mesh here. The same here, okay? You can like custom here, how the project goes. You can like fixing the complement here, going in Y or here, okay? So you have way more options to deal with your complement. So it's way simpler because you are just playing with at, at the level of the road nothing else okay and uh, you still have the same options as before you have uh, everything is working well okay you can go planter fixing you can go the sidewalks fixing which is gonna put the whole system up or down okay but now you don't need to go anywhere else to deal with the terrain projector a all the setups are here okay and now better than ever i will show you okay it's not necessary to bring the other system because you know guys how is uh it's not uh it's not ideal to convert that into mesh i showed you before how that can be messed around with your scene in the previous system but now it's totally different why because now you can do this when you turn this you are preparing the whole system for conver conversion okay and now you can just do here a click convert to mesh and voila now you have your scene totally ready for addition okay but why the terrain disappear? Because the terrain is linked to another system, okay? So that's why I made these guys simplified, completely simplified. Why? Because uh, the only thing you have to do to convert the entire thing on a mesh is just duplicating this guy. You duplicate your collection. Now you have main one. And then you can even turn it off your other main and then select everything here and convert.
oops, I forgot to I forgot to prepare for conversion. Okay. Now you select everything and convert. And you have everything here. Okay. Let me show you. Ready to go. You have your terrain, you have your mesh, you have your everything, your terrain is separate, okay? And everything is ready for you to start to edit in your mesh if that's what you want, okay? And you still have your main system preserved here. If you wanna go there and tweak something, you always can may maybe delete this hierarchy turn it on and you still have your system here ready to be edited okay so yeah that's pretty much it those are the the main additions the main updates and I think you guys will like it because you guys requested that for me already uh, for a while and I hope that address everything that you guys wanted okay and I hope you guys like it and yeah stay tuned for the next updates and for the other products uh, take a look on blender matter and gumroad I have all the products like easy house scattering that you can scatter houses all over the place here and if you like you can go there and check it out and see you soon till next time my friends bye bye